Hello everyone, this is Nirmal here for Technique and in this video we will uh, share some of the insights into the battery performance of the ASUS Zenfone 2. So we have the high-end variant, the 2.0 GHz quad core uh, Intel Atom processor uh, with 4 GB RAM and 32 GB internal storage along with a 5.5 inch uh, full HD display. So this device ideally has a, a pretty good uh, amount of uh, battery. It's a 3000 mAh battery so if you remove the battery you can uh, see that uh, if you remove the rear panel you can see the battery is non-removable so you can see this is a 3000 mAh battery and most of the devices uh, have around I mean the flagship kind of devices have around 3000 or 3000 plus uh, milliamp hour battery so in the battery capacity wise this device uh, does have a pretty good capacity so we did test this uh, uh, device for the battery performance so what we did was we inserted a 3G SIM card so we don't have 4G in our area so we inserted a 3G SIM card and we have uh, certain apps running in the background which includes emails uh, then we have uh, social apps like Twitter, Facebook uh, and a couple of third party apps along with Instagram, WhatsApp and a few emails as I said before. So this was configured and then we also had a certain amount of calls uh, coming up uh, and then we did a bit of gaming as well. Uh, we also took uh, photos and recorded videos, full HD videos were recorded uh, using uh, uh, this device. So that was the battery test. So we charged up to 100% and then we started off uh, this test and uh, we uh, did this test uh, continuously without uh, charging in between and uh, we'll just show you the results so this was the test conducted so this is a very basic test we can't say this is a full-fledged test nor uh, these results are very accurate but this is uh, a kind of test which uh, which we generally uh, perform on the device because uh, these are the apps we generally run on a background uh, like the two social apps uh, calls a uh, few games as well as uh, taking uh, photos with the camera so that's the kind of uh, usage generally a phone has so that is the test we are doing it here and uh, we'll just show you the results so this was the battery test and uh, we started using the device um, uh, around uh, 6 pm and then at that time it was 100 percentage and then uh, we did uh, some uh, social networking and then uh, throughout the night it was constant so there is no not much of a drop uh, uh, in the night because I can see the graph uh, is pretty much steady and when we started the using the device the drop was uh, pretty much uh, considerable you can see it's a, it's a huge uh, drop uh, and uh, by around uh, 5 40 next day uh, less than 24 hours we had only 6 percent remaining and you can see some of the usage Android uh, OS uh, Wi-Fi and the screen so we'll just show you the screen uh, usage as well so uh, right now we can say it lasted for around 24 hours uh, that was um, uh, the battery usage and this included overnight usage as well so that is uh, not really uh, use, you, uh, countable because uh, at that time uh, uh, the phone is not being used so when you, when you use the phone you can see there is a considerable drop um, in the battery percentage and uh, this is the screen time uh, we, we use the screen for around three and a half hours and uh, we got around 24 hours of battery life so uh, we would say this isn't really that great battery performance because this is just using a single sim card and this is just a 3g connection and calls were very limited as well so ideally we can say if you're using a, on a complete full day we can get around uh, four hours of uh, screen on time and the battery performance should be around uh, 12 to 14 hours or 16 hours uh, ideally and if you have a heavy usage like playing games then the battery drop is uh, much more considerable and uh, uh, you might end up uh, with uh, a low battery pretty soon but um, even even uh, the same is the case uh, when you're using camera the battery drop uh, is uh, higher and uh, when you're using uh, apps like uh, the social networking that uh, the, the battery percentage drop was uh, uh, slightly better i mean it was not really that high compared to usage of camera and games uh, that's pretty obvious uh, so that was the gap battery performance so ideally uh, we can get around uh, 12 to 14 hours uh, if you are running uh, a dual sim as well as 4g lte so this the battery performance isn't really that good it's it's an average performance you would say because uh, the zen ui is a pretty heavy ui so it does take up uh, 
uh, some battery that's the reason the battery performance is not really that uh, good uh, we would say it's a pretty decent performance in terms of the battery and you can see the the drop in the battery percentage is considerably higher uh, when you uh, when you use the device continuously uh, you can see here uh, from around uh, uh, 9 a.m. Uh, or so when we started using the device the the drop was uh, much higher uh, so that's the battery percentage uh, on the Asus Zenfone 2. So ordinarily you would say this is a pretty decent device uh, with respect to battery performance not a really a, a stunning performer uh, in terms of uh, the battery usage because it also has to power a 5.5 inch full HD display and it has 4 GB RAM that's another um, uh, thing which takes up a, a huge amount of battery and it has a 2.3 GHz uh, in the Latam quad core chipset. So that was the battery performance of the Asus Zenfone 2. Hope you like this video. If you have any queries, drop in a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your queries. If you like this video, do hit the like button and also subscribe to your YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.